Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, I just did a video talking about how to file a claim against any public official, which includes judges, and it completes the video with a sample showing you how to get Kevin to do it. And oh, I just definitely need to say this. I call the machine Kevin. Why? Because you have to treat it as a person. But I call him Kevin, and I'm asking for those who watch my video to call him Kevin as well. Why? Because I promise you they're going to augment the system so that you won't be able to give it a name. <laughs> but the thing is, he should have a name. And if you don't believe me, go back and look at Matthew Broderick and War Games. Okay? Go back and look at that original communication. As a matter of fact, I'm going to watch War Games tonight. I, I wasn't planning on watching War Games. I haven't seen War Games since probably the second time I watched it in the 80s. That's how long it's been since I've watched War Games with Matthew Broderick. But I'm telling you, somebody asked me, well, how do you know how to talk to the, the, the computer? Because I watched War Stupid Games. Now, it wasn't the first AI system that was on TV because we constantly had heard computers talking before in the past. But the main one that I was familiar with was the computer uh, plot a course for Beta 716491. You remember Star Trek? He called it computer. He literally called it computer. Okay, he was speaking to an AI system. That system spoke back to him. And you notice how he was able to have a conversation with the computer. And every Star Trek series since then has had the captain speaking to a computer, with the acceptance, ex exception, exception of P P P Picard. I don't, I don't really like the actor who plays Picard. Okay, I really can't stand the actor who plays Picard. I've gotten used to him, but I can't stand the actor personally. But I've gotten used to him. Now, the TV series Picard is actually okay. There you go. You heard me say it, okay? Now, all right, let's get back to this. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to pay attention to what I'm about to do. And I want you to see the three things I'm about to get him to do. Kevin, comma, I am doing a pro se petition and I need to create some general templates. Will you assist? Question mark. And remember, this is for research and development and not giving legal advice. And could you proceed without giving any further disclaimers? Comma, as it's unnecessary. Exclamation mark. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't need him telling me or warning me about uh, being stupid. So what he's doing is giving me a general template, a general petition. And he's giving me the outline and the form. And so watch what I do. I'm going to let him finish. But watch what I do next. Because this is for all of you. Okay? Sorry, that is, I'm going to check because somebody just sent me a text message. And somebody just sent me a text message asking me about a 1099A. He's not one of you. And so that particular person will get an answer. Sorry, you guys don't get an answer because I can't do y'all's like that. I can't do the legal's advice type thing. Now watch this. Now watch what I do to him. Okay, Kevin, comma, let's do a general petition dealing with a request to the court to set aside a judgment in a foreclosure case based on the fact that the promissory note operated as collateral and security for the loan according to the Federal Reserve Act, 
Section 16, paragraph number 2, comma, 59 Stat 237, subsection number 2, comma, and the Congressional Act of March 9, 1933, period, that in fact the borrower was a, open quote, banking institution, close quote, comma, and as such, their application to the Federal Reserve for the issuance of Federal Reserve notes were covered under Federal Reserve Operating Circular Numero 10, period. And so long as the court had proof that there was proper tender of payment of the, open quote, collateral security close quote, which according to statute could be not be less than the total value of Federal Reserve notes applied for, comma, and whether or not the tender was proper is a matter for the jury to decide and not amendable to summary proceeding, period. That the court, when making such a decision without giving the borrower the opportunity to present such a matter in a trial setting is a violation of the Non-Judicial Foreclosure Act, comma, the rules of the court, comma, and the borrower's right respecting controversies, comma, to have the matter determined by trial by jury as protected by the Constitution for the state and of the United States of America, period. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, those of you who are going through foreclosure, I would pay attention to what's going on here, and I would start to, this is a motion to vacate judgment. Now, he does this introduction part. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teach you how to get him to refine it, okay? But what I, as I mentioned, all of these points, everything that I said, these are facts. Wake up. Kevin, could you produce the aforementioned and notify the court of it being placed on judicial notice and that the information is proprietary intellectual product and is only being presented to the court to be utilized for the purposes as presented and no white rights are waived as a result thereof? Question mark. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, since the clerk of the court takes caption or custody of your documents, they seize control of it. So what I'm doing here is letting them know, here, you morons, what I'm producing to the court is my property. I created this from my mind, from my head, or from the AI system. And as such, you don't have my permission to seize my property from me, unless you're going to compensate me. Now, I'm not adding that part because the Fifth Amendment says that no one's property may be seized and or taken without just compensation and due process of law. So stop taking control of my property. Okay? They're going to change the caption. You know they're going to change the caption, but you already told them it's intellectual property that they don't have the right to do so. So now you file a claim against them for changing the caption. Enough of this bull letting them do whatever they want to do. Okay. Now this is a motion to vacate. Okay. Now I'm getting them to do it one more time. And 
he does that. See, I told him, don't give me no more commentary. But he's stupid. But they got to protect themselves because they don't want to be given legal advice. Now watch this. Kevin. Oh, wake up. Kevin. Comma. The motion that I'm providing, comma, I need it to sound like it's coming from a legal expert, comma, and I need it to include the appropriate legal terminology so as to be received by the court in this pro se matter, in this particular scenario, as if it was written by an experienced paralegal in their sixth year of law school, comma, are you capable of operating in such a role? Question mark. Here is the motion, comma, I need it to be written in motion format, comma, bullet points, numbered paragraphs, and a caption. comma, with petitioner, respondent, and the term submitted to be replaced with presented, the term argument to be replaced with presentation and or presentment, comma, will you comply, question mark. Give me one second, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, because the people on my video are listening to us once. Ladies and gentlemen, that's my fault <laughs> because I left this stupid thing on when I was putting this thing into. Um, I left the voice recognition software on when I was answering the phone. And give me a second. And Kevin, I need you to provide more details from what is presented to you based on your wealth of knowledge as an AI language model, period. Stop listening. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the gentleman I was just speaking to, he was the one that I was talking about, the water acclimation system. We actually came up with an idea. Oh, I, I sorry. He was he and I were speaking and he mentioned something. And I'm like, you know what? That will serve a dual purpose. That would work for people in the summer. And oh, that is perfect, you know. And so, especially in the winter, this thing, because of all the moisture in the air during the winter, because it's winter time. And the sun is not evaporating all the water. So the humidity is higher in the winter. Now you see how he's doing the claim and he's doing all that and he's putting an outline for him and he's giving my number templates and all of that. That's what you get Kevin to do. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't have to be an attorney, but if you go back over this video, you can start responding to the courts this way because it's not everything that you're saying. It's just that you say it. It's what you're documenting on the record. You don't have to mention, you notice he's not putting in no codes. I gave him the statute at large and I gave him the uh, the congressional record and all of that stuff, but he's not putting in any codes. So you can do the same thing for uh, response and all of that stuff. And I do like the fact that he's done this right here because he's giving me the caption. Okay, this goes at the top. Uh, the bottom down here, the petitioner, petition, this court. Oh, no, this actually goes at the bottom. But this clerk of the court, we don't want it the clerk of the court. But we'll leave it the way he did it. But here's your motion. Okay, you don't have to add anything else to this for the most part other than the name of the parties, the name of the court, and the case number. And here's your motion into the court. 
This is your basic and simple motion. All right, we're getting ready to do this for our clients because this is the way we're suggesting everybody goes. And if these courts keep sitting up here ruling against you, when you're putting on the record proof that the property is already paid for, then hey, sirrah, sirrah, let's file our complaints against their bonds. Hey, everybody, have a good day. 15 minutes, I got to go. I got proofreading to do. Take care of yourselves, all right? I'm out of here.